hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know that time can heal it all, I just gotta get through Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. So for the last six months or so, I've been in a bulking phase and I've also been doing a lot of strength training. I had to drop my volume down so I'm not quite as large as I want to be, but I've been really focused on my strength lately. And the day that I'm filming this is January 6th, but I'm very excited to announce that as of January 1st of this year, 2023, I've officially joined the 1,000 pound club. So in this video, I'm going to give a quick little breakdown about my strength progression over the last year, go over all my lifts for the 1,000 pound club, just kind of talk about some tips, tricks that I have for you guys if that's what you're interested in doing and kind of where I see myself going from here. All right, so first of all, if you don't already know, the 1,000 pound club is basically the combination of your squat, bench, and deadlift. And just taking the max amount of weight you can move for each of those lifts, adding it up together and seeing if it reaches a thousand pounds. Now, if you're not really like into powerlifting or anything like that, you're probably not even aware that this is a thing, but for people who have gotten into lifting, this is generally a pretty big milestone the first time you can cumulatively lift 1,000 pounds. And for me, that happened like five days ago. I'm super excited to show you guys these clips. Now, keep in mind, this is done at around 145 pounds body weight. I'm a smaller guy, as you're going to see in these videos, and I'm really excited to just show my strength. I feel like I'm decently strong for my size. And again, my form could use a lot of work on all these lifts. However, I'm just gonna show you guys the raw footage. All right, so starting off with a bench, this was the biggest win for me personally because right here, I'm lifting 245 pounds. This is an all-time PR, I've never done this before. And I've been stuck at this weight for two years now. I lifted 235 pounds. This was back in November of 2020. So just about a two year span until I finally gained an extra 10 pounds pounds on my bench. I'm not even going to go into all the strategies that I've tried to use for increasing my bench press. It's not like I haven't tried. Literally, I've tried everything under the sun and I finally got those extra 10 pounds. All right, so now looking into my squat, these three lifts, the bench squat and deadlift were all performed three days in a row back to back to back. I just decided I want to do a max testing right at the end of the year. I wanted to squeak it in at the end of 2022, but I kind of leaked it over. So, so next up is the squat. We're going to save the best for last. I'm really excited to show you guys my deadlift PR, but my squat, <laughs> I'm going to show you guys the raw footage of this. I will be the first to say, I don't think I quite hit depth on this. So just keep that in mind. But here it is. This is 335 pounds. Um, you can see I got down almost perpendicular. However, I really should have gone down another inch or two. And the way I lifted it coming back up felt really good. Like, honestly, I felt like I could have done more. But again, I didn't quite hit the depth I needed to. So just a quick breakdown for people who don't really know much about powerlifting because you see these comments all the time when people post videos of themselves squatting. It's like, oh, that's not depth. Oh, you got to get lower than that. People think it needs to be ass to grass. It does not. The golden rule for powerlifting is when you're squatting down, the crease of your hips needs to dip below the level of the top of your knee. So you basically just need to break 90 degrees with your knee flexion. And that's essentially a legal squat if you're going to compete this in a powerlifting meet. Now, of course, they might make you pause the rep or something like that. So I'm not doing anything like that, but I'm just saying in terms of pure range of motion, that's what I'm looking at. So honestly, based on the way that this was moving on the way up, I think I definitely could have squeaked out those extra one to two inches and made depth been able to get this re-racked without too much of an issue. However, I have not tried it again. So for the sake of my strength goals, I'm just going to say that I could probably do this. So again, don't give me too much hate in the comments. I know I need to work on it. But anyways, moving on to the deadlift. This is the part that I'm most excited for because this has skyrocketed for me over the last year. So if you guys haven't watched this video already, I'll link a little card right here. But basically, I made a video earlier this year about my like one year deadlift transformation and that was going from 315 so three plates to 405 which is four plates which is a really big pr now i hit four plates for the first time over the summer so summer 2022 is the first time i lifted four plates and i'll play this clip right here again it was definitely a struggle for me but it was a solid lift like i i definitely got that up i was very excited for it that was back in august i believe so again like i said i spent the last six months training more strength so 
I'll play this clip right here. This is from uh, a couple weeks ago. It was right when I was getting over COVID, which unfortunately is why I had to push my lifting back so much. But anyways, I just gotten over COVID. I was just getting back into the gym, my first day deadlifting again, and I pulled four plates and it looked like this. All right, this went up super clean. And like, honestly, this is what four plates has been feeling like for the last month or two. It feels great, way better than it did back in August when I first got it. And I did hit 415 like a month or so ago. I'll play this clip right here. Again, definitely a struggle, but I got it up still around like 143 pounds body weight. So now we've already benched, we've already squatted. This is my deadlift. I decided to throw 10s on each side and try 425 because I know that I needed another five pounds to get to that 1,000 pound club. Right now, if I kept my deadlift PR 415, I was at 995 cumulative pounds. So I know I needed five more, but I wasn't just gonna throw two and a half. So I was like, you know what? Let's just add an extra 10 pounds. So put 10s on each side for a total of 425. This was the lift. Really, really struggled in the middle of it, but I got it up to a lockout. Again, the form is got not it. great on any of these three lifts. However, I was really happy with my deadlift specifically, because if I look back this time last year, I could only lift 375 pounds. And honestly, if you want to go back and watch those videos, I've got a ton of them where I attempt 385 and I just fail. For instance, last New Year's Eve, I tried 385. Oh, this was oh, the clip oh, right yep, here. Yep. Could oh, not get it up. I got it off the ground, but I could barely move it. So New Year's of 2022 to New Year's of 2023, my deadlift went from 375 to 425. That's a 50 pound increase in my deadlifting ability. So overall, you put those those lifts together. I've got 425 deadlift, 335 squat, 245 bench for a total of 1,005 pounds. That makes me one of the newest members of the 1,000 pound club. Again, around 145 pounds body weight right now. If you guys are looking for tips on how to, I don't know, get stronger, like join the club, something like that. I don't know what you guys weigh, but just know if you weigh a lot less, like I'm a lighter guy, it's gonna be a lot harder for you guys to make it in. Like you're gonna have to train longer than most people who are heavier than you. However, if you're really looking to get stronger, my biggest tip is to decrease your workout volume. I was a six workouts per week type of guy with a lot of volume, and that's great for building muscle, great for building size, but it's not super great for building strength because it taxes your body so much. You need more rest time in between workouts. So number one, decrease the workout volume, maybe only switch to a five-day split. That's basically what I've been doing for the last six months or so. And number two, kind of going off of that, decrease the amount of stuff that you're doing in each workout. I was doing up to like 10 exercises per workout. It was taking me like an hour and a half to get through stuff. And then when I switched to strength, I was typically only doing five to six, maybe seven exercises a workout at the most, and that's pretty rare. So really give yourself plenty of rest time, decrease the volume, and honestly, you gotta eat more. That's something I wasn't super into doing, but you know, I figured I was bulking anyways. Let's put the first half of it focusing on strength, and I'm really happy to see say I made a lot of strength gains this year in 2022. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you appreciate the effort that has gone into the last like four years of training to finally get me to this moment. And I hope you took something away from this too, even if it's just a little bit of inspiration. If a 145 pound guy like me can do it, so can you, I promise. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed Give it a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. We've got plenty more videos coming this year and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.